Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to my session on Arduino in 21 days. We are on day 20. In today's session we will be seeing a demo, demonstration only. I will not uh, in a position to give you any in a full program. Okay, I will tell you the reason for that later. Uh, it is a commercial Pani Puri Pani vending machine that I developed. What you are going to show you is only the, the demonstration of it actually. Right. Uh, for that, uh, this is the program that I wrote. It is uh, roughly, it has uh, 1075 lines or so. If you see that, now you see I am just scrolling. It is a, a bit uh, bigger program actually. So, it has uh, 1065 lines actually. You see here, 1065 lines. So it's a big program so that is why uh, I'm not in a position to give even if I give uh, the connection part of it and all uh, you have to understand even uh, after six months I, I even I for me also to get to know uh, I, 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 it will difficult I it will be difficult for me even maybe after six months uh, after a month or so or even six months to get to understand about how I developed this program that is why everywhere each and every line I put comment each and every line I put comment right uh, if you see that this is the function that will display the weight message this will function the pipe down direction dispense normal pony uh, pipe in moving upward direction so on and so forth so on and so forth uh, this is basically a, a uh, Pani Puri Pani vending machine with uh, four different uh, combinations you can do. The thing is, uh, in the Pani Puri, the Pani Puri wala uh, is suppo he is supposed to stuff uh, put inside the onion and the uh, uh, alu or any other masala in a plate. Okay, in inside the Pani Puri, inside the Puri, then uh, you have to give you maybe some five or six uh, Pani Puris in a plate. Okay. After that, using my mesh setup, you can choose any one of those four. Uh, this one. Instead, this one. Let me play. Okay. Now let us see the thing in action. Uh, the th thing in this uh, PowerPoint show. What you are going to see is Arduino-based commercial Pani Puri Pani dispensing setup. Uh, it is not just a demo model, but I am showing you a demonstration in this particular session of course. So I use this Arduino. Dispensing the key points are dispensing Pani in four different choices. So you can choose any one of those, uh, any one of those four. Okay, It will be easy to operate both by the customer, consumer and the seller. Ease of maintenance. So the seller can use uh, four vending machines at a time. So it is a boon for that business actually. That is uh, four machines. Even at a time, even uh, more than five, six members, uh, five, six consumers, customers can uh, use this uh, machine actually. So these are the uh, items that I used: Arduino Nano V3 board, five volt DC power supply to the Arduino. Uh, of course, I sub I used a twelve volt power supply to the Arduino Nano. This five volt DC for uh, actuating, activating all the relays that controls the actuators, right? the dispensing units and all. The 24 volt DC, uh, DC SMPS uh, I used it for the stepper motor actually. I used two different stepper motors actually. So this is the power switches, two different two stepper motors I used and uh, water solenoid, three solenoids, pony tanks for three different ponies, three tanks. So this is the Arduino Nano I used. Many Arduino projects are available in the YouTube channel, but here is the project we used a maximum number of inputs and outputs in a single. I out of uh, 14 digital I input and output and 8 analog input output, I used uh, actually 12 digital outputs, a digital input and output, and 6 uh, analog inputs actually. So only 2 plus 2, 4 are spare. So this is the Arduino these are the connections so these are the, the this is the arduino nano board and these two are the uh, stepper motor controller board 
and these are the relays that controls the opening and closing of the pani solenoids these are the different items i used so adini nano a two line 16 into two display the relays push button for choosing the pani that you want uh, these are the this is the toggle switch i used for some setting purposes a beep sound you will be hearing at the end of uh, the pani vending and this is the water solenoid it's a two it's a it is working in a 220 volt ac type and uh, i'm not I, i initially i used this one but after that uh, i yeah this one i used su suppose previously here you saw a different model but after that uh, that was not uh, uh, giving a consistent uh, result uh, so i changed that to this one a higher version and this are uh, this is the stepper motor that i used so this is the uh, the pani puri setup uh, at the various uh, design stages actually so the free what you are seeing now is only a frame and some sheet metal only mounted then slowly we, i'll be doing some work now i we inserted the stepper motor here and stepper motor behind it there is another stepper motor four different uh, buttons for the choice l3 display for the uh for for the customers to see that so everything is uh, fixed properly right so this is how you are uh, i it looks so you see at the top uh, the three pipe outlets uh, for the three different ponies so three different ponies you have to keep actually so let us say uh, the yellow is a normal pony red is a sweet pony green is a spicy pony with this you get four combinations that is you can get this alone here by pressing the first button or if you press the second button uh, the sweet pony will be dispensed or the third button the spicy pony kara pony will be dispensed the fourth button combining both the sweet and uh, spicy together it will be dispensed so that is the logic so this will be thing there is it's a gear driven rack and uh, the uh, this will move down i'll show you the demo so this is the on the this is the uh, uh, jig i could say right you have to fix all the six pani the, the puri is actually the puri is stuffed with uh, the necessary masalas actually right so this is about uh, normal pani button sweet pani button spicy pani button sweet and spicy pani button in the rear view i introduce some commands this is mainly for the operator not for the customer so pani volume can be set uh, by using these two uh, this button is uh, provided for the home position upon this power assumption because suppose if power goes off in between uh, then it will be a bit problem for the uh, upon the power assumption so you have to the uh, the the seller has to press this button so then the the everything will be uh, positioned in the home positions both the uh, stepper motor 1 and stepper motor 2 again another button also i put uh, suppose say if the customer uh, ate uh, all the six pani, pani puris again even by mistake he should not press for the seventh occasion that is not possible okay that means uh, for that customer he consumed all the six puris so the next customer uh, is supposed to use this particular setup so that can be activated only if the seller the merchant uh, presses this button then emergency stop again uh, if, if anything goes wrong if this toggle switch is on the setup will not function then these are the normal pani draining or maybe it can be used as a priming or draining at the end of the day uh, the uh, everything must be cleaned and drained you know for so far the three different ponies right so these are the three buttons this is for the normal pony this is for the sweet pony and this is for the spicy pony and power on switches okay we'll go so so this is the setup then you see the first pony 
I, I took empty glass so no puri of course assuming the puri is there okay now you see the pani now this will go down mob the purpose of moving down is uh, moving up you know the if there a puri is there if the after moving down pani will be dispensed only if it uh, moves up then only you can take out the puri so that is why it has to go down pani should be dispensed and it should move up back to its uh, posi home position then only you can take out the uh, the puri filled in with the pani the second thing i am pressing the second button so i emptied glass i'll be inserting the second button the second pani maybe red in color so red in color previously yellow color now it is red color now the third one i'm pressing the third button so different color the green color the fourth combination i'll be pressing the fourth button the fourth glass i took fourth button it is combination of red and green or the blue uh, red and green of course i think you could see the difference between this and this color you see that this color is something different so pani puri is filled still it needs uh, some more improvements it is still in the prototype okay so developing a product is not that easy at the same time it is not impossible also everything is possible uh, you should do some uh, design improvements actually so it can be done only after meet after uh, encountering some issues and some problems okay so the puri is real but the pani i just use a color panis actually okay so that is why i am not consuming it now if you see the screenshots the screenshots first puri welcome so button pressed then first since you press the first pani uh take uh, pani puri normal pani no pani puri second button here you will get the display like uh, take su sweet pani sweet puri third button you will get the message like take spicy puri then fourth if you press fourth button uh, take uh, sweet plus spicy display will appear so that is how uh, we made the program okay so that's it uh, for uh, this one okay so again i repeat so this is the program for the uh, uh, this this is the program that i fused it in the uh, thing now if we compile if you see that uh, how much memory it requires you know that you can see now i am compiling the verifying you see the display here okay so sometime it is giving some error previously it was working actually now it is not working no problem so already i fused it uh, you saw everything in uh, action actually so in, i instead of this one i have to do some changes right that's it so you saw the demo of how we developed a commercial pani puri pani vending setup uh, uh in this session actually so for design we used solidworks for uh, automation we used arduino this time okay so combining uh, cad design and uh, for automation we uh, used the arduino and arduino program okay so we made it actually so you 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 witnessed it again and i'm telling you so everything is made by ourselves actually so i it is not a cooked up one or uh, we did not uh, i'm not i, I didn't uh, uh, conducted this show by uh, bring uh, by taking someone's uh, work 
actually okay it is purely our work okay so hope uh, you, you you understood about the concept and uh, I, I hope uh, you, you will you gain some confidence that yes I can make this kind of uh, some kind of this kind of uh, pr uh, pr prototype or a product or a project by myself uh, using uh, Arduino okay so that's it for today subscribe my channel and inform this to other student friends and uh, faculty members so then they'll also get some inputs uh, through my session thank you